people have been asking me today if I'm going to cry, and I said, no, I won't cry. A week from now, I'll cry. <laughs> uh, what a blessing uh, to welcome you all here today and to uh, just enjoy this experience together. We are so glad that every single one of you is here uh, sharing in this with us. Uh, I'm feeling in this setting, this panoramic setting behind me, a little small. And then I'm reminded that I'm not small at all. We are, none of us are small. We are such an important part of God's handiwork and his design and who we are in him. And because of that, I can look around me and appreciate this and realize that all of this is a beautiful big thing that God is doing uh, for us and with us today. And I'm grateful for that. And I had a class with Andrew. And I noticed that as the semester went on, Andrew would be on his phone more and more each class period. And I would see Liza Corman's name pop up several times throughout that class period. And one, whenever class was over, Andrew wasted no time and he would book it down to the school's cafeteria where lo and behold, Liza Corman would be conveniently sitting there every single time. No joke. And that's when I started thinking, I think they like each other. I sat down one time with Andrew and we were just chatting. It was just one of those cool deep talks that we have. And I asked him, I said, what, so what first drew you to Liza? And he knew right away, he had the answer right away. He said it was her voice. Because there was this scenario where Andrew was, I think it was at Bethel, and a group of college kids were there, and Liza was reading, so Andrew couldn't see Liza. I think she must have been around a corner or something. And all he heard was her voice. And he said it was the sweetest voice he'd ever heard in his life and she sounded like an angel. And at that moment, I knew that Andrew was completely in love. Andrew, it's with overwhelming joy that I give you my whole heart today, my whole heart for my whole life. All that I am and every single thing that I have, I pledge to you today. I pledge it with faith and with love. The image that really resonated with us, um, this idea of our love being a home for the Lord and simultaneously His love being our foundation and the place that we call home. Um, we hope this imagery is as powerful for you as it is for us and that it can shed new light on the important reality that Jesus wants to make his home in every single one of our hearts. Every beautiful thing we've ever experienced in this life is a taste of him calling us home and this beautiful thing that we're experiencing right now, um, laughing and crying and dancing and eating and hugging together. They're all gifts from him.